I get to have some fun today and decorate some cookies, and I hope that you'll consider decorating some cookies because Michelle Felder has got a solution for you to make it easy and fun. This is Michelle from Guilty Cafe in Wanaki. So good to see you, Michelle. You too. Welcome back. So what are we doing here today? So, uh, well, I'm gonna be talking about the cookie decorating kit okay. that we have to offer during this pandemic that we've mm -hmm. been having for forever. Um, <laughs> But I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you could decorate the kits. Okay, so giving giving uh, us some ideas for how to use. some ideas exactly. Use the kit. All right. Um. So, which one would you like to decorate? Uh, I'll start with a pumpkin. That's the easiest one, I think. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um. So you're going to take your green color because that's what the stem would be. Okay. And I would just pipe around it. That's called piping. It is called piping. And then you're gonna, this is just a regular buttercream frosting. Okay. Um, for more elaborate decorated cookies, you'd use royal icing. But okay. since they're for kids, I just keep it uh, for the regular buttercream. So it's easier to spread and you don't have to sure. worry about it drying super fast on them. Yeah, because that royal frosting tends to dry and yep. get kind of a crust almost on you the top You got of it. it. So, yeah. so why don't you do that okay. with your stem. All right, we'll get, see how I do here. That the green. My wife is probably going to be <laughs> laughing when she sees me do this. I say you should be a pro then. If she has she ever taught you anything, <laughs> or she's taught you. Well, she's, to she's a good attention. teacher, right? She's a good teacher. I'm just a poor student. <laughs> it's okay. My husband's the exact same way. I was I was the the brute work. I would wash dishes for her when she was doing cakes. All right. Oh yeah, my husband did that too for me. Yeah. See, that's what we're here. That's what hubbies are here for. As you're doing that, you're gonna take the orange, go around. I like to just make um, an outline first before I fill it in. Okay. That's just uh, helpful to me. I know sometimes you could just, you know, plop on the frosting and then spread it wherever you okay. like. It doesn't have to be perfect because you know you're just gonna be eating the cookie. <clears throat> well, and as one of my idols said, we don't make mistakes. We just have happy accidents. Exactly. Right. And you did that so quickly, I'm so impressed. I, I don't know if I could do it as quickly as you, but. And then I just do like a little ruching in the orange frosting, just okay. to give it that effect give of it maybe that... a pumpkin. Sure. And you don't always have to do like tons of icing because you're just gonna be spreading it around. Okay. But there you go. What you're saying is that it might be a little bit too much icing. <laughs> you could also pick it up too, if that helps you to spread the icing around and get it around the corners and stuff. All right. I'm finding that That's good. preparing food and talking is really hard for me. I never have to do that as the host. No. <laughs> I feel so bad for you. <laughs> Making you talk and prepare food at the same time. All right. Multitask. So at this point, you could just sprinkle it or. Oh, you put that texture in there. Let me see if yeah. I can do that. You just kind of like waved it back and forth like that, or? Um, just one. So oh, I did one. one, and then next to one. Okay. There you go. There. There, looks perfect. pumpkin-ish, I think. <laughs> and then, like I said, you could do sprinkles on top, or you can make a face. Oh, all right. Ooh, there's all that frosting right there. So you just go in with your piping bag. I'm gonna put a little bit of frosting on mine. Or uh, sprinkles, rather. I had to put the frosting. Put a little bit of sprinkles on there. And we'll give it a little happy face, too. So. There. There. Easy to do, easy and fun for the kids, I suppose. Let's see here. Uh, what am I going to do with mine? I know, you got to think it through before you start, because otherwise you're like, oh, where am I going with this? <laughs> right. You got to make sure you dollop it at the end there, so. I like the kids that would come in when we did cake decorating and cookie decorating. They would have a plan to start because <laughs> they knew what they wanted to do. I'm like, I love it. Perfect. There's my, <laughs> there's my sad little pumpkin right there. <laughs> but you know what? You get to eat it. So that's the best. That's the, that's the best. He's only sad because he's not being eaten yet. So, <laughs> so uh, where do, how can people get these cookie kits that you have here? Um, so we have them available on our website to order online. So you can either pick it up or curbside delivery. Mm -hmm. Or we also, also have delivery options now. Um, but you could also um, call ahead 
or you could email. There's all different ways. Okay. And then right now we have the fall theme. So there'll be fall, and then there'll be Thanksgiving, and then there'll be Christmas, and as and the months. So and if, or so if you forth. want a different shape, just for like a party, a birthday party. You know, your kid likes unicorns. Have a bunch of unicorns. Have a bunch of hearts. Just Great. Different options. You can pre-order that stuff. And yeah, and different colors too. And cafe is open to the public to a certain extent right now. Correct, 25% capacity. All right, well, Guilty Cafe in Wanakee, if you can't get out there, then order one of these kits and have some fun. We'll be right back with more after the break.